Hello developers! In today's video, we are checking out two Udemy instructor titans! The one and only Cold Steel and the one and only Maximilian Schwarzmuller. Now, these two instructors have absolutely massive metrics. Maximilian recently released a bootcamp style course, so we're gonna check that out today. We're also going to compare it to what I consider to be the gold standard in online web development bootcamps, the Web Developer Bootcamp by Colt Steele. He is the guy who started it all, and as far as I'm concerned, it's the gold standard. Now, to be totally fair, I think Andre Negoy's Web Developer Bootcamp is the platinum standard, but we'll talk about him another day. If you're interested in how Colt Steele's course compares to other instructors, I have a few videos popping up on your screen right now. Before we get into the meat of the productions, let's talk about some stats. So for the Colt Steele Bootcamp, we have 63 hours of video, 42 articles. Not sure if anyone actually reads these articles on Udemy courses, but there's your stat. 116 downloadables, 62 coding exercises, certificate of completion, and all the other standard Udemy stuff. As far as Maximilian's Bootcamp, we have 79 hours of video, 26 articles, 18 downloadable resources. Now, on the surface, the biggest difference you're probably going to see nearly immediately is that the Web Developer Bootcamp by Colt Steele is completely at your own pace. If you feel like you want to bang out 20 sections in one day, go right ahead. Whereas with the Maximilian course, this is much more structured. This one is actually called 100 Days of Code Web Development Bootcamp. It's designed for you to pick this stuff up in an extremely structured manner over a period of 100 days. Now, of course, you're absolutely free to go at whatever pace you'd like. It might take you 200 days. It might take you 10 days. But the point being is that the Maximilian course is really regimented and designed for people who maybe need that structure. As far as going into the course content, now this is one of the reasons why I call the Web Developer Bootcamp by Colt Steele the gold standard. His tech stack has been imitated, duplicated, replicated, ripped off, um, you know, these titans are not the only people doing these boot camps. You can search web development boot camp and get hundreds, if not thousands, of results on Udemy. This tech stack that he uses is extremely popular amongst instructors on Udemy. Uh, there are some technologies where I, I continuously scratch my head, i.e., MongoDB. Now, the Cold Steel course teaches you MongoDB. This is a database. Developers who've been following this channel for a while know that um, I'm not the biggest fan of MongoDB simply because it's not used all that often in the real world, but it's repeatedly put into these boot camps. But that's a rant for another day. <laughs> How about I not get ahead of myself though? So the Colt Steel tech stack, HTML and CSS, as any respectable online coding bootcamp will start you out with the basics of web development. He does not address the grid in this course, just Flexbox. And then going into JavaScript basics, lots of stuff with JavaScript. And then we get into the interesting stuff with middleware and the back end. And that is gonna be Node, Express, and MongoDB. Now, comparing that to the 100 Days of Code Bootcamp, same thing starting off, of course, HTML and CSS giving you that oh so gentle introduction to web development. And then that segues into JavaScript basics. And then just like the Cold Steel course, you're working with Node, Express, and MongoDB. There are a few extra things in the Maximilian course that I'm not seeing and have not seen in the Cold course and that has to do with specific security issues such as CSRF attacks, SQL injections. I thought this was a really neat addition. Let me go into the actual course here. Unfortunately, I'm probably gonna get a copyright strike if I play the audio, but I will play it down here on mute so you guys can see some of the production values of the Maximilian course. The Maximilian course, if you've taken his courses, people love this guy, he's very thorough, uh, the quality is always on point, and that can be said for Cold Steel as well. But just as far as production values, very good. Now, this is a 
very early on video, what is web development. So he's on screen introducing himself, introducing this crazy world of web dev. Uh, but further on in the video, he takes a back seat so you can see the whole screen when it comes to coding. As far as projects go, so this is the Maximilian course. Let me pop in to the Colt Steel course. In my opinion, the projects in the Colt Steel course are phenomenal, particularly the final project, Yelp Camp. You are working so hard on that project. It's not just an afterthought like, oh, by the way, here's this final crud app, go work on it. But there are lots of lectures dedicated to it and you start working on it, not that early on in the course, but it's definitely not an afterthought. So all this stuff over here, all these sections, authentication, adding authentication, basic authorization, controllers, and star ratings. Basically, Yelp Camp is a Yelp clone for campgrounds. So people can review them, list them. It's a really cool application. I actually have a video called something like, is Yelp Camp the greatest project of all time? Because it's a really fun project and you do a lot of work both in the front end and the back end. So this is kind of like a capstone project and comparing that to the 100 days of code project. Now there are miniature projects in both of these courses to get some hands-on experience with these technologies, but with the 100 days of code, the Maximilian course, you are building an e-commerce site. So this final project comes much later in your 100 days of code adventure. So day 78 in this lesson, adding the image upload functionality is where the administrator or whoever's doing the e-commerce stuff is actually going to upload the products. So you work on the back end from an administrative point of view and then the front end from a consumer point of view. So it is a cool project and there is a GitHub repo somewhere in here of the final code. Both of these projects are gonna give you experience with full stack web development. And then down here in section 36, you actually get introduced to Vue. Now, this is not enough to get you coding Vue apps. This is a very simple introduction, but I think it's better than nothing because compared to the Cold Steel course, Cold Steel has no frameworks, no React, or other fancy JavaScript libraries that you're introduced to, work with, etc. So this is pretty much, I'm using air quotes, you can't see me, but vanilla JavaScript. Whereas this one, the framework of choice is the very one of the very last things you discover. So this actually could be kind of beneficial to inspire you to continue your coding journey with a web framework. Maybe not necessarily Vue, but React, Angular, yes, I know React's a library, but you know what I'm saying. Stuff like that so you can continue to learn. This course says it's for, where does it say? For beginners and advanced developers. I'm going to have to disagree on that a little bit. These web developer boot camps are great for beginners, but they're introductory. This stuff, unfortunately, with 80 hours of content, it still just scratches the surface. But going back to comparing these two courses, Maximilian versus Colt Steel, both of these courses, okay, they're on Udemy. They're super cheap. They're going to introduce you to the basics, get you up and running, hopefully inspire you to make your own projects. Now, one thing that is tricky with these courses is that you get like 10% through and you're just like, yeah, this sucks. But what I really like about the Maximilian course is that it's based on that 100 days of code format. So again, going back to my earlier point, if time management or discipline, just taking that time out to code every day is a problem for you, the Maximilian course may be just the ticket you need. Again, these types of courses are great for getting you up and going, taking you from a code newbie to a beginner who will know the basics to make your own sites, your own apps, and discover more about web development, work on that portfolio, etc. As far as a clear winner, I really don't think there is one. As far as updates with the Maximilian course, it's this was just recently released, so you're good with that. But as someone who has not taken a lot of Max courses, I don't know how good he is with his updates. Maybe someone can fill me in on that. And if neither of these courses appeal to you, that's totally fine because there are many of them on Udemy and elsewhere. I've talked about Andre Negoy quite a bit on this channel because I love what those guys are doing, especially with their updates. If updates are super important to you, like a number one, number two thing, 
check out the Andre Negoy stable of courses um, and check out my review of that. He also has a platform, zero to mastery.io. I've referred quite a few students there and most of them, from what I've heard, have loved it. So again, if these courses on Udemy aren't cutting it, or if the Cold Steel or the Max course just isn't your cup of tea or you want some more engagement, there are options out there. All in all, two great courses from two classic instructors who've been doing this for a while. Cold Steel, Maximilian Schwarzmuller. Congratulations, Max, on the whopper of a course, 79 hours of video. Let me know your thoughts. Do you like 100 Days of Code? Are you taking the Maximilian course? Have you taken the Cold Steel course? Do you even care about web development? Maybe you stumbled upon this video and you're like, what the f Hope this video was helpful. If it was, leave a comment, slap a like. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video.